The history of the Jews in the Roman Empire traces the interaction of Jews and Romans during the period of the Roman Empire. Their cultures began to overlap in the centuries just before the Christian era. Jews, as part of the Jewish diaspora, migrated to Rome and Roman Europe from Palestine, Asia Minor. Babylon and Alexandria in response to economic hardship and incessant warfare over Palestine between the Ptolemaic and Seleucid empires. In Rome, Jewish communities enjoyed privileges and thrived economically, becoming a significant part of the empire's population. The Roman general Pompey in his eastern campaign established the Roman province of Syria in 64 BC and conquered Jerusalem in 63 BC. Julius Caesar conquered Alexandria c. 47 BC and defeated Pompey in 45 BC. Under Julius Caesar, Judaism was officially recognized as a legal religion, a policy followed by the first Roman emperor, Augustus. Herod the Great was designated King of the Jews by the Roman Senate in c. 40 BC. The Roman province of Egypt was established in 30 BC, and Judea proper. Samaria and Idumea were converted to the Roman province of Iudea in 06 AD. Jewish-Roman tensions resulted in several Jewish-Roman wars, 66-135, ad which resulted in the destruction of Jerusalem and the Second Temple and institution of the Jewish tax in 70 and Hadrian's attempt to create a new Roman colony named Elia Capitolina c. 130. Around this time period, Christianity developed from Second Temple Judaism. In 313, Constantine and Licinius issued the Edict of Milan giving official recognition to Christianity as a legal religion. Constantine the Great moved the Roman capital from Rome to Constantinople c. 330, sometimes considered the start of the Byzantine Empire, and with the Edict of Thessalonica in 380, Christianity became the state church of the Roman Empire. The Christian emperors persecuted their Jewish subjects and restricted their rights. Jews in Rome and Romans in Jerusalem According to the Jewish Encyclopedia article on Rome, Jews have lived in Rome for over 2,000 years, longer than in any other European city. They originally went there from Alexandria, drawn by the lively commercial intercourse between those two cities. They may even have established a community there as early as the second pre-Christian century, for in the year 139 BC, the Praetor Hispanus issued a decree expelling all Jews who were not Italian citizens. The Jewish Encyclopedia goes on in connecting the two civil wars raging during the last decades of the second century BC. The one in Judea between the two Hasmonean brothers Hyrcanus II and Aristobulus II and the one in the Roman Republic between Julius Caesar and Pompey. With the evolution of Jewish population in Rome, the Jewish community in Rome grew very rapidly. The Jews who were taken to Rome as prisoners were either ransomed by their co-religionists or set free by their Roman masters, who found their peculiar custom obnoxious. They settled as traders on the right bank of the Tiber, and thus originated the Jewish quarter in Rome. Rome's involvement in the Eastern Mediterranean dated from 63 BC, following the end of the Third Mithridatic War, when Rome made Syria a province. After the defeat of Mithridates VI of Pontus, the proconsul Pompeius Magnus remained to secure the area, including a visit to the Jerusalem Temple. During the 1st century BC, the Herodian Kingdom was established as a Roman client kingdom and in 06 AD parts became a province of the Roman Empire, named Iudea Province. Julius Caesar formulated a policy of allowing Jews to follow their traditional religious practices, a policy which was followed and extended by Augustus, first emperor of Rome, reigned 27 BC to 14 AD. This gave Judaism the status of a religious licitor throughout the empire. The financial crisis under Caligula has been proposed as the first open break between Rome and the Jews. Even though problems were already evident during the census of Quirinius in 6 and under Sejanus, Jewish-Roman wars, 
In 66 AD, the First Jewish-Roman War began. The revolt was put down by the future Roman emperors Vespasian and Titus. In the siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD, the Romans destroyed much of the temple in Jerusalem and, according to some accounts, plundered artifacts from the temple, such as the menorah. Jews continued to live in their land in significant numbers. The Quito's War of 115 to 117 notwithstanding, until Julius Severus ravaged Judea while putting down the Bar Kokhba revolt of 132 to 136. 985 villages were destroyed and most of the Jewish population of central Judea was essentially wiped out, killed, sold into slavery, or forced to flee. Banished from Jerusalem, which was renamed Elia Capitolina, the Jewish population now centered on Galilee, initially at Yavne, after the Jewish-Roman Wars. Hadrian changed the name of Iudea province to Syria Palestina and Jerusalem to Ilia Capitolina in an attempt to erase the historical ties of the Jewish people to the region. In addition, after 70, Jews and Jewish proselytes were only allowed to practice their religion if they paid the Jewish tax, and after 135 were barred from Jerusalem except for the day of Tisha B.A.V. The Roman Empire adopted Christianity as its state religion with the Edict of Thessalonica on 27 February 380. The Diaspora Many of the Judean Jews were sold into slavery while others became citizens of other parts of the Roman Empire. The Book of Acts in the New Testament, as well as other Pauline texts, make frequent reference to the large populations of Hellenized Jews in the cities of the Roman world. These Hellenized Jews were only affected by the diaspora in its spiritual sense, absorbing the feeling of loss and homelessness which became a cornerstone of the Jewish creed, much supported by persecutions in various parts of the world. The policy towards proselytization and conversion to Judaism, which spread the Jewish religion throughout Hellenistic civilization, seems to have ended with the wars against the Romans and the following reconstruction of Jewish values for the post-Temple era, of critical importance to the reshaping of Jewish tradition from the Temple-based religion to the traditions of the Diaspora, was the development of the interpretations of the Torah found in the Mishnah and Talmud, late Roman period. In spite of the failure of the Bar Kokhba revolt, Jews remained in the land of Israel in significant numbers. The Jews who remained there went through numerous experiences and armed conflicts against consecutive occupiers of the land. Some of the most famous and important Jewish texts were composed in Israeli cities at this time. The Jerusalem Talmud, the completion of the Mishnah and the system of Nakuda examples. In this period the Tanaim and Amoraim were active rabbis who organized and debated the Jewish oral law. The decisions of the Tanaim are contained in the Mishnah, Baraita Tosefta, and various Midrash compilations. The Mishnah was completed shortly after 200 AD, probably by Judah Hanasi. The commentaries of the Amoraim upon the Mishnah are compiled in the Jerusalem Talmud, which was completed around 400 AD, probably in Tiberias. In 351, the Jewish population in Sepphoris, under the leadership of Patricius, started a revolt against the rule of Constantius Gallus, brother-in-law of Emperor Constantius II. The revolt was eventually subdued by Gallus a general, Ursicinus. According to tradition, in 359 Hillel II created the Hebrew calendar, which is a lunisolar calendar based on math rather than observation. Until then, the entire Jewish community outside the land of Israel depended on the observational calendar sanctioned by the Sanhedrin. This was necessary for the proper observance of the Jewish holy days. However, danger threatened the participants in that sanction and the messengers who communicated their decisions to distant communities. As the religious persecutions continued, Hillel determined to provide an authorized calendar for all time to come that was not dependent on observation at Jerusalem. 
Julian, the only emperor to reject Christianity after the conversion of Constantine, allowed the Jews to return to Holy Jerusalem which he had for many years longed to see rebuilt and to rebuild the temple. However Julian was killed in battle on 26 June 363 in his failed campaign against the Sassanid Empire, and the Third Temple was not rebuilt at that time. During the Byzantine-Sassanian War of 602-628 many Jews sided against the Eastern Roman Empire in the Jewish revolt against Heraclius, which successfully assisted the invading Persian Sassanids in conquering all of Roman Egypt and Syria. In reaction to this further anti-Jewish measures were enacted throughout the Eastern Roman realm and as far away as Merovingian France. Soon thereafter, 634, the Muslim conquest began, during which many Jews initially rose up again against their Eastern Roman rulers. Dispersion of the Jews in the Roman Empire Following the 1st century Great Revolt and the 2nd century Bar Kokhba Revolt, the destruction of Judea exerted a decisive influence upon the dispersion of the Jewish people throughout the world. As the center of worship shifted from the temple to rabbinic authority, some Jews were sold as slaves or transported as captives after the fall of Judea, others joined the existing diaspora, while still others remained in Judea and began work on the Jerusalem Talmud. The Jews in the diaspora were generally accepted into the Roman Empire, but with the rise of Christianity, restrictions grew. Forced expulsions and persecution resulted in substantial shifts in the international centers of Jewish life to which far-flung communities often looked, although not always unified, due to the Jewish people's dispersion itself. Jewish communities were thereby largely expelled from Judea and sent to various Roman provinces in the Middle East, Europe and North Africa.